Hello dear students, welcome back to our new topic. The name of this topic is Physical Control or the Tools of IPM. So let's see in detail the Physical Control of uh, IPM. So dear student, actually this method is a modification of uh, different physical factors. So already in environment, the lot of pest that attacking on crops so for the minimizing and for uh, to prevent the pest control point of view it is very helpful this methods so it's nothing but the definition of this uh, physical control so the use of physical forces or the different factors of environment for the eradication of insect pest or to prevent the loss of the crop and other store grain products so here also the same kind of some practices involved in physical control like we learned in the mechanical cultural even also the some practices given in biological control same type of practices that are given in physical control so, so similarly here that uh, first application of heat application of cold followed by use of irradiation fourth one manipulation of uh, moisture manipulation of soil and the use of sound so this is a very important practices that uh, comes under in physical control so the first one see in detail the application of heat so the application of uh, heat nothing but so here you can see the one go downs where all that uh, harvested food material that grains that stored so firstly what may be the pest that attacking on that uh, harvested food material so here need to that uh, heating of the empty go downs before the storage or before this all that uh, product or uh, that uh, commodity that uh, storing so we have to heat them properly why because some pests are hidden inside the gunny bag maybe in godowns even like the some material used for the storage so this all that uh, uh, that material we have to properly heating them that uh, during the heating we need some like a uh, temperature range that to prevent its uh, further infestation purpose so here the 50 degree celsius of the temperature required for the controlling of this pest so here i am highlighting that uh, here the temperature range is 15 degree celsius required to prevent the pest attack same like the second practices like a uh, sun drying practices here some like uh, grains are that distributed over the soil surface and the labor that uh, woman labor that uh, properly that spreading of this all grains under this uh, sun rays so how so what may be the some uh, like uh, insect that attacks on that sun uh, attacks on that grains so this due to the temperature of the sun rays so this all that hibernating stage even some immature stages like uh, eggs or like larvae that uh, present in stored product so properly controlled by the sun drying practices so this is the second practices that involved in this uh, physical method now third practice that is a flamethrower practices that a burning trot torch or burning like a flame thrower machine used against the pest like locust so you know well presently this locust that attack on all crop that were that used to controlling purpose this type of this flame thrower machine and flame thrower practices that used to destroy the locust plague similarly some like a burning torch that use against that uh, hairy caterpillar that to prevent further infestation purpose even also if the cold storage 
of uh, the fruits and vegetable to kill the some different uh, fertilized maggots or eggs that uh, maintain the temperature range at the rate of like uh, 1 to 2 degrees celsius for near about that 12 to 20 days if we store so that to destroy this type of this fruit fly here not mentioned but this is also the fifth practices comes under in application of heat so now the next one the application of cold so here that the storage that uh, uh, in the like uh, refrigeration so here the application of cold that means the minimum uh, that uh, temperature required so like the first practice is refrigeration at the degree celsius or 5 to 10 degrees celsius temperature if the edible uh, like a product it is stored uh, that uh, in the refrigeration so like what may be the past attacks on that uh, product like in dry fruits so that uh, to control by this type of the application many insects that to fail because so there is the not proper temperature range to survival for the multiplication due to that it's a fail to multiplication below 10 degrees celsius like in potato if this stored at low temperature the further infestation of potato to vermouth pest never occur due to the low temperature range of the 10 degrees celsius same like the third practices cold storage of fruits even some vegetables to kill the different maggot and uh, eggs of fruit fly insect in case of the mango even guava that uh, the crop that is that uh, various, uh, various also some like uh, fruit crops that attacked by this fruit fly if this type of the commodity before that uh, ex expo exporting so this all that uh, commodity if we stored in the uh, degree celsius like uh, 1 to 10 degree celsius or 12 to 20 degree celsius this type of the fruit fly never attacks on that uh, crops so now the third practice is manipulation of moisture so similarly same like here uh, one that stagnant water that we have to pour out why because these type of this uh, if the container buckets that uh, filled with the uh, rain water so there is the chances of the past that uh, in multiplication is more so that's why the practices is to draining away the stagnant water to prevent the mosquito population in rainy season and obviously this mosquito is a vector to transmit the diseases in human so this practices that prevent the population in further infestation so that's why this practice is very helpful now in case of this like uh, most of the insect that uh, attacks on the stored grain if the stored grain the moisture content is more than 10 to 15 okay near or near about so there is a chances to most of the vehicles like rice rice mill moth and even some like a different stored grain insect that will attack due to the moisture percentage is more if the reducing the moisture content in grains near about the eight percentage can save our stored product through the uh, moisture minimum by different insect pest even also the in the field of uh, rice there is the major pest of brown plant hopper that is uh, commonly called as the bph okay so if this cultivation of rice if the manipulation of moisture if done like the alternate drying and wetting in rice field so we have we have to control the brown plant hopper pest this practice is recommend to controlling purpose okay now the next one drying of seeds in sunrise so that to below 10 percent moisture level affect the insect pest population in fact also the some insect also that uh, very much that uh, uh, destroy through this the flooding practices if the flooding practices done in the field so what may be the hidden larva that uh, under the surface of soil 
they comes out and to easily expose to the predators like uh, some birds okay in fact like the destroy by this spreading because it's a favorable condition destroy this practices that's why is very important to control this type of the pest so here are the some examples of mosquito even in case of the some different moisture uh, percent it low in the grains so many store grain past even like in field condition brown plant hopper in rice even like the same in field condition so the flooding practices the cutworm will control by this uh, practices so now the fourth one like uh, the use of irradiation so use of irradiation it is very important here the gamma irradiation here that the use so the firstly the practices here the some like the high frequency radio waves if we implement or generate about uh, 80 degrees celsius temperature in the grains to kill the weevils pest even also the some male insect can make sterile by using the gamma radiation this gamma radiation that uh, exposed to cobalt 60 is used to sterilize the insect in the laboratory and when this uh, which compete with the fertile males for the mating when released in the natural condition so so there is the not a further generation occur so that to control by this uh, radiation okay because of to making of sterile insect and the further infestation or further population is automatically we are destroying so this is the first uh, experiment or the studies uh, conducted on the past cattle screw on fly that is a uh, name of the scientist the scientific name is cochilomia omnivora and this uh, invention or this technique developed by the scientist e f nipling this e f nipling he is the father of the male sterile technique and first experiment conducted on cattle screw worm fly okay so this is the very objective type question also will ask in your examination so about uh, the sterile technique now the next one the manipulation of soil in this practices the steam sterilization that uh, done in soil so that what may be the different larva on some like uh, insect uh, that hidden in soil so that destroy them so like example like the here mentioned the nematode space that very much uh, that infestation occur in the like a uh, different crop like a uh, pomegranate okay so that destroy by this the steam sterilization you know also some other methods other practices also that in a physical control that use of abrasive dust okay so this use of abrasive dust like a uh, radar that treatment given in red ground so that uh, injure to the insect uh, wax layer that uh, on cuticle body so due, due to this uh, that uh, injury so that uh, heavy loss of this uh, moisture and finally the insect that uh, not properly survive due to this type of the practices even some activated clay also same here that wax layer that injured and resulting in the loss of moisture and finally which is leading to death it is used against different store product paste actually this uh, uh, here one uh, example i mentioned so dry dye so this practice is uh, used in usa so this dry dye powder when mix okay so that uh, in the grains so here the different uh, paste uh, that uh, destroy when which is uh, uh, due to the highly porous and abrasiveness uh, the property in dry dye so this uh, divided in uh, into the silica gel and due to the loss of uh, like moisture and finally this uh, uh, death uh, occur in insect in stored grain paste so this is overall the different practices used in pest control method so now the again here lastly these sound practices sound practices is also helpful to destroy many pests this experiment is uh, successfully that uh, 
control this uh, Indian Milmar when the exposure of insect to ultrasonic wave sound at the rate of the 100 kilocycles and near about uh, 4 to 30 minutes at uh, 500 watts has been found to lethal or fatal or dead to the most of the insect example of Indian mean moth. So by using the sound practices also that destroy the pest in stored grain pest. Okay, so dear student, here have some uh, advantages and disadvantages of physical control. The firstly, it gives uh, immediate result. Okay, so these methods are generally very popular and believable to the farmers and insect are killed by physical action. Hence, it's uh, environmentally safety because of here the no use of any chemical. Okay, some limited uh, some laborer that use to implement these practices. So some like a uh, demerits also. These methods are time consuming and costly. And uh, these methods are useful only when the much more damage has done. So that time this type of the practices that we use against different pests. Here are some special equipments also that required for like uh, heating for the cold, like refrigeration, manipulation of like a moisture, like that. So this method is that uh, use. So there, uh, here, this all are these practices and advantages of and uh, disadvantages of this physical control. So this is overall that uh, information today I shared you. So thank you.